Microfinance provides financial services to the poorest of the poor. It involves, among other things, extending loans sometimes as small as $20 or $30 so that people can start businesses, generate income for their families, and begin the climb out of poverty. In many cases, over 90% of the borrowers are women. If I'm empowered with financial support to work and take care of my family, I can pay for health service. I can pay for school. I can do this and do that. All this brings about developments. Microfinance has done a lot of good, but even its greatest proponents agree it has to be done right. Otherwise, if you just lend money, people can actually be worse off than they were before. There are a lot of uh, problems in the uh, microcredit movement itself. The definition of microcredit is being uh, misused by many people. The editing under the sun is called as microcredit. So you need to clarify yourself. What do you mean by microcredit? What distinguishes microfinance, say from the moneylender or the more modern ver uh, variant of that, uh, the consumer credit um, outfit, is that is exactly this merchant banking aspect that as a microfinance institution you have to know the business of your client. Now if you don't watch what the money is used for then chances are a large part of it is going to be used for consumption. And if you borrow to consume you're not richer at the end, you're poorer because you have to repay the loan and high interest on top of it. And so what makes a microfinance institution really worth its name um, is the ability to detect among the thousands and thousands that would gratefully accept a loan those that will, that will become productive with that loan, that, that can turn that loan into value and, and, uh, and better their lives. It's not easy to do, but that good finance institution, that's, that's exactly what it does. Damian von Stauffenberg founded MicroRate, a company that rates the effectiveness of microfinance institutions around the world. What he's found is that the best microfinance strategies emphasize a holistic approach. Ibo Graham, a project manager at the Hopeline Institute in Ghana, echoes the same idea. Hopeline is a microfinance NGO. We have about 2,500 members. Every person who registers with Hopeline will have to go through a month of training on business management, bookkeeping. They have to understand insurance because we'll give them micro-insurance. They have to understand what savings is. We're teaching them how to save. If you save, you can be empowered. If all we're doing is extending credit to the poor, if all we're doing is giving individuals another access to a form of a credit card, there's gonna be no lasting change. I think savings are critically important. I think training is critically important. I think micro-insurance is critically important. And I think the fourth leg of this aspect of spiritual poverty has to be addressed. And it's only when you're addressing all of those collectively that you're gonna see significant change occur. We are a Christian organization. That's why we are spending time in educating them on how to spend and use money. We are supporting them through microfinance, but we are reaching them through evangelism and all those things, for them to understand that this is business, it's a mission, you understand me? And they have to go through it in the Lord's way. And in handling that money, and you practice what we've taught you, you will succeed.